and welcome to mystic star magic today we are going to find out what's happening with you in 2021 can you believe it's the end of the year already um a lot of people looking forward to the next year um so i actually did a, something a little different we have the butterfly here because to me next year 2021 it's going to be the year of angels it's going to be a year of angels and transformation um, so there's going to be a lot of transformation and uh, I, I've already done the readings and that kind of confirms it as well. Um, so there is going to be a lot of change happening next year and just always like want to say that whenever it is that cause there might be times when you're just like struggling a little bit. I feel like next year is going to be amazing but there's times when you know like as we go through transformation we kind of feel like it can be overwhelming. Just remember like there is I, I'm, I'm saying this is the, the year of angels because angels are going to be all around you. They're just really wanting to help and pick you up and lift you up. Um, it is a year of transformation, but it's a transformation like of uh, we're leveling up, I guess, is what it is. You're, everybody, I feel, is like some sort of growth is going to happen next year. I mean, we always have growth, but it's going to be an exponential kind of growth. Um, so yes, I just, you know, it was a long intro, but I just wanted to say that for the next year, uh, amazing things are going to happen, but if you ever like need help, just really call on your angel, your guardian angels, just angels, your spirit guides, they're there for you. They're going to be, especially you're going to feel, you're going to feel their presence a lot more next year. Um, okay. And now with that, a long intro, um, let's take a deep breath in. Close our eyes. Now as we exhale and open our eyes, choose whichever pile calls you to it. All right, let's do this. Hello, group one. Let's find out what's happening with you in 2021. Wow, can you imagine? It's been a year. Um, so we have a lot of stuff to do. So, um, but overall, this is the card you chose and it's the unfinished symphony. So I feel like 2021 is going to be a year where you finish all those, you take care of all those loose ends. Um, pardon my, like, I was using a Sharpie, so pardon my hand. <laughs> um, but you're going to finish all those unfinished symphonies that you have. Like you're going to cut out, like tie up all loose ends as you're moving towards a new beginning. Um, so this is good for you. There's going to be a lot of, I feel like you're going to come through a lot of like, you're going to finally go through the, get to that place where you want to be, where you're ready to go. And you're going to start new things too, but it's like, I feel like you're doing both. You're, you're starting like new things, but also just completing um, things that are left that haven't been um, finished. You're going to finish them off. And basically it's going to start a new cycle for you. Um, so yeah. So we also have a major um, energy, which is the, our Lenormand deck here. It's fish. So there's also going to be a lot of prosperity in your life. Um, in 2021 so that's good right like um a lot of abundance and so also like movement as well so there is like movement there so now let's do the tarot cards so for the first quarter we have the five of winter so um so here we like i'll read what it says but basically it's five of winter is the five of swords so there's like a, a victory but it's not it's a kind of like a bittersweet victory so your current path isn't leading you towards the happiest possible outcome so why not change always maintain integrity and compassion but be alert to the hidden agendas of others yeah so the beautiful thing about this card is well it, it is winter for most um but it it means that there is this energy of like you can change it like you don't have to keep following that path um i think it's like where you get to see where you know like your integrity what it is that your core values are there um so that's good so we have also for that we also have the next quarter is the justice or elephant so there's this thing of finding balance um 
So we are trying to like find this balance. Um, it also might be that if there's any um, kind of legal works in for you, you're definitely, this is like a positive sign. It's going to go towards you. Like you, you will win this um, if there's cases, that, you know, like if you have some sort of case. So fair decisions will be made after the evidence is reviewed impartially. Have compassion for others and try to see all sides of a disagreement. Um, but I really, for yes, there is that. But I really feel like there is this like trying to like gain this balance. You might also like, um, for some of you, it might be like uh, you might, be signing contracts like you might be oh it sounds exciting it's like a business you might be signing up um so you might be actually finishing things like that like you might actually be signing a contract of some kind um business maybe marriage um but it's to me it seems like a very positive thing um it's something that i feel like you've been working towards for a while because the elephant is here and it's like a steady kind of um, momentum that has been going moving forward um so that's really good <laughs> okay so we have eight of winters um that's and that's for the other that's for the third quarter um so this is the eight of winters which is the eight of swords so there is move uh like kind of freeing yourself i feel like you've been stuck um so you've kind of like freeing your mind here um it's like there's a lot of thought energy here, but I feel like the the major as like the major part is in the here with the major arcanas here. So like in winter, it's easy to con to convince yourself that you're trapped when you really aren't. Trust that God will lift you to a new heights and give yourself greater and give you greater co self confidence if you affirm your freedom. So yeah, it's like it, really to me, it's more like a, a thought thoughts that are keeping you um, locked in. Um, but I feel like you're shaking it off, you know, like this is like, I love this because you, because of this unfinished symphony, I feel like lots of stuff is like, you're kind of going through old patterns and finishing with them. And now you're moving forward. Oh, so we'll do it in a little bit. And then our final quarter is ego. So we have, um, this would be the devil. So it's like things that you're tempted again. <laughs> I'm like telling you, this is unfinished symphony actually makes a lot of sense um so so here you you're letting go of like temptation things that are tempting you habits that no longer are serving you you're releasing them in this so you may feel that you're trapped in your situation again there's like a lot of trap feeling um but that's not true be careful not to overly focus upon material wealth and break free of negative thinking um because i feel like you are definitely going to have a lot of abundance in your life um i feel like a lot of it is worry. I feel I really do feel like you're starting some sort of a business in your um, second quarter. So the first quarter, if I'm not mistaken, is from January to March because it should be for should be three months, right? So like, and then this would be April to <laughs> sorry June, and this would be July to September, and then. October to am I making sense October yeah October to December um so this one I feel like this one is really important so from uh, from March like actually from April to July April to the end of June which is like you know so so from April beginning of April to the end of June it's like you're starting off some sort of like um a business i really feel like that's a business for you but i feel like you you have all these worries um about it about all like a whole bunch of different things that you're worried about um so it feel, makes you feel trapped but a lot of abundance is around you it's really it's important but let's look at the fairy messages and you actually got a whole bunch of fairy messages <laughs> it's supposed to be one card but a whole bunch came out and you know I'm always like, if the universe wants you to hear this, then the universe wants you to hear it, right? So we have here, ask for help. Angels are, or are celestial beings who protect everyone. The fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. Yeah. So, um, yes, next year is a strong um, angel year. It's like, I really call it the angel, like the year of angels. Um, there's going to be a lot of angelic influence everywhere. So, Yes, whenever you need help, 
it's there for you for the asking um, so just remember that that's important and we also have music so listen carefully for there may be messages in music you hear music can lift your soul rekindle memories and charm fairies to your door so music is important as well i would like to see if that actually comes out in charm in the charms too um and then we have life energy happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy she reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed um so yeah i feel like wow well, look at, i have to say your fairies are really beautiful <laughs> and lost and found what was once lost is is what was once lost is about to be found thanks to the lost and found fairy sometimes you can help she can help us find things we never even realized were lost i feel like if you actually kind of go with this so i feel like here when you're having i didn't even mean for it to be that way but i really feel like they kind of coincide together um so we do have this i actually want to since this is like a major card i'm going to actually try to put you over here um so i'm spanish symphony it's just going to go up there but as the five of winters we kind of i think like the fairies really want you to know this um so the first part of your first quarter um is the five of winter so it is that you're going to have like trying to have a victory but like with others kind of getting in the way so it's not a bittersweet victory but here it's telling us that we need help like ask for help during this first quarter like trust the angels to be there and then when you're starting off this like possibility like a new venture like where you're signing some sort of contract here um for the second quarter it's like music is important there's going to be messages for you um in music so it's important to listen to lyrics then we also have the life energy so that's during this when you're feeling extremely like when you're the third quarter when you're feeling trapped um we have this life energy letting you know that there is like life you just need to um shine your own light you know like shine your light and then you'll see that any kind of like negative thoughts are that's really what this is like any negative thoughts that make you feel like you have to be stuck are going to like shine away all the light that you know shine away that negative thoughts and then we have the ego here which is the devil and lost and found i feel like you're gonna find your uh, part of yourself here um i feel like that's been true a lot like angel like i feel like next year is going to be like kind of lesson learned uh, i mean like <laughs> 2000 2000 20 was also a lot of learning but i feel like here you have this completion you're learning all your lessons and like like you know like things that are just going to help you so that you really achieve the goals that you're setting up for yourself um so that's really good so i feel like you're going to find a part of yourself find um as you release things that are are not healthy for you so here we have our animal <laughs> message or, or, or message for 2021 and the butterfly spirit yeah transformation is beautiful you are transforming so like give yourself a like a, a big break next year like as you go through this um because transformation is tough um uh, it just know that is actually like you are going through this stage you are going to become this like beautiful butterfly um so just give your cut yourself out some slack there throughout and here we have important like moon the moon energy for the 2021 and that's look at the bigger picture again yes so we do definitely want to have this bigger picture as things like feel overwhelming just know that there's like your everything is kind of like you're setting up the foundation all the steps are being there so that you're going to have this like amazing like i really want to say like I feel like your path is clearing up um, and you're just growing stronger for, for what, for your dreams that you want and personal is issues reaches resolution. Yeah. So again, that's again with this unfinished symphony, we're going to get through that a lot. So, and we also have this one and we have the boat. So money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall. So again, there is like, you do have a lot of luck in terms of money coming to you um so there is that it's a strong message for you right now um so that is really cool all right let's look at what the pin for the year is 
Oh, look, did it, did it. Okay, I, I think this is the pin for the year. Okay. All right. So this is the pin for the year. And the pin for the year is like, he's a little guy always loves to come up. Um, so it's the cactus with the little, like, being poured in water, even though it's like, and it's also like in a teacup for me. Um, so it's always a reminder to just grow where you are. And as you grow, it's like, know that you can move. Um, but it's okay to just be where you are right now and just be okay where you are and grow in there and, and, you know, like do as much as you can in that place without worrying too much about anything else. Just focus on your own growth and taking care of yourself because there's, this is also like important to take care of yourself. Drink plenty of water. Okay. So we are, we're starting here with the seeds. Um, feel like we are getting like we are starting like letting go of the past is very important here we have w we have y so it's like y um win and k wink um anything else okay that's something very important we have cancer so that's water energy and Sagittarius fire energy lots of love that's that's really cool I love that you're there's going to be a lot of love and a lot of affection around you oh yes definitely it feels like the boat and the fish there is going to be some sort of a trip for you next year that is exciting and know that whew, you got two umbrellas so I'm I know that no matter what happens you are going to be ready um knowing yeah that's really important so there is going to be like I feel like confusion a little confusion um but there's also going to be the sun. So it's like confusion. You're going to be ready for whatever happens. And then you're going to start to see like this beautiful like manifestation. Um, and just just complete abundance and happiness. You have five and six are important. Those two numbers. And transformation is important. And is this music. Because it was over here as well. So yeah. It's really cool. I love that. And we have... Let's do a sprinkle of charms. Sprinkle of charms. It's so important. Oh, it was really a sprinkle of charms. I really thought we were going to have a lot. <laughs> I knew it. I was wondering if we were going to have music. So yeah, music is really important for you. Especially during the second quarter. So live the life you love. Very important. I feel like you are. Um, here we have. She believed she could and so she did. Yes, you, you are there, and it's always, always love is important here. Um, again, I feel like you're, follow your heart in terms of, like, your dreams, because it's, like, the, it's shining. It's shining there for you. Like, the light is shining you, guiding you to where you want to go, and it really feels like this is the, the princess castle. This is where you want to go. You want to head to, to this is your outcome this is like the fairy tale happily ever after this the sun here um it's all coming together it's all being formed together just you're going through a transformation and that's going to be that that's something that you're you know that that's going to happen but the most important thing is that you do live the life of your dream and you believe that you can and you will um so let's do the final um message in terms of like what okay yeah okay apparently it's two you got two so this is the important thing so resilient stay as strong as an evergreen as evergreen trees okay so that's important yeah see we do have that a lot um that's you know she believes she could and she did and then you have let go enjoy the pulsing light of the firefly but don't hold on too tight oh it's beautiful those are, are those are amazing those are amazing messages and I, I really like the way this ended um so that is your 2021 messages group one um i feel like you're gonna have a great year <laughs> you know like it, it's gonna feel i think like you're gonna have up and ups and downs but i feel like you're gonna see a lot of like all the loose ends kind of come together you're going to move up to a new level and like you're actually going to become a butterfly you're ready for to transform to your fullest being um, and as you are just remember that angels are around you helping you you know guiding you if you need it um, energy like there's light inside you just let it shine and it'll come back to you 
Um, so I think those are important and resilient. You are, you can, you will accomplish all the things, especially if I feel like some of you are starting a business, which I'm super excited for you, or like some sort of like uh, something that requires contracts. So it's really exciting. Maybe you're buying a house or something like that. So all that, that is really exciting. Um, you're letting go of all the things that aren't, you know, necessary anymore. Um, yeah. I think overall you're going to have and a lot of abundance too. So that's really good. All right. So I am sending you so much love, so much light, so much happiness and so much joy. Happy New Year, Group 1. Thanks again for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you want. Bye-bye. Hello, Group 2. Let's find out what's in store for you for this 2021. Wow. So we're starting off this, this is the card you chose. So it's no place like home. So a lot of focus is on home. It's like finding, I think, like a place where you belong um, and also just being starting to be comfortable within yourself um, so that you're just, no matter where you are, you'll like feel you're at home. Um, so that's important. So it's a, it's a beautiful message to start off your reading. Um, we also have a Lenormand card, which is what's also another focus and that's endings. So we have the coffin here and that's um, that just means that there's going to be endings coming as we move forward. So we have endings and we also have this thing. <laughs> Sorry, I, like, I'm trying to cover it up. <laughs> Alright, so like, this is important. So we're going to put this here. So there's no place like home. That is a guiding light for you. This. Um, yeah, this this next year 2021 um let's look at the first quarter so the first quarter is from january to the end of march so we have the emperor we have an energy here of like wow it's feeling very established you also there's like a this butterfly here so there's a little bit of transformation along with it um so it says structure and organization are important right now don't be afraid to take a leadership role as you as you have much wisdom to offer also the here but it it really feels like here you're going to be more of it's a yang energy so in, in the first three months of the year you're going to be more like an active um more active more like taking action versus like more contemplating it's more of a taking action and just kind of like pushing forward i love that and then we have for the so we have from April to the end of June, we have release. So this is death. This is <laughs> there's, like, there's a lot of, uh, I feel like there is death for or, like a lot of like endings for you. So it's time to release the past and move something to something new. The ending is the first step on your way to happier future. So yeah, um, I, I said it to group one and I'll say it here too. I feel like 2021 is where we're actually going to like have a lot of endings um, as we're moving towards even better things it's it's my year of what i call the year of angels um so again there's butterflies and that's why we just also chose the butterfly here there's a lot of transformation happening but there's also going to be a lot of support for you um from like angels and spirits and just the universe you're going to have this beautiful thing it's because you we're going to go to a you're going towards your dreams and now it's like this is what it is um so yes so ending but endings of releasing things that aren't beneficial for you transformation is happening hermit energy so we have <laughs> you have like there's a lot of uh, so 2021 is going to be a big year for you just because there's a major like all of these are major arcanas um so we have the hermit energy here <laughs> and again a, another butterfly so here we have the energy of going inward and in contemplation we start off the year over here with a lot of action um moving forward lots of action lots of logic here lots of like you know like taking um you know just moving progressing everything forward we then go through this here um from again april to the end of june we have this energy of like releasing things that aren't working anymore we're ending a lot of things uh letting go of things that again don't serve us and here we have we're going inward now from august i know from july from the beginning of july to the end of september so this is like more inward energy this is more contemplating energy so take time for contemplation <laughs> to retreat and go within be a beacon for others on their path to spiritual enlightenment 
Um, so yeah, I think that's because it comes from here. Like when we have an ending, it's sort of like usually endings kind of like cause us to like pause for a second and and kind of like I would say learn a lesson, but just kind of figure things out of like, okay, what happened and how did this like, how do I benefit from this? And you feel like you're a very wise person. So that's something that you'll do actually contemplate after something happens, you're actually going to internalize whatever it is that you need to learn and let go of the things that don't. And then we have this three of springs. So we have this more of like um, three of springs is three of of wands so it's this planning um you're actually like after this you've after here like so from um october all the way to the end of december next year you're going to be in a planning mode you're going to like figure out things that you want with this hermit energy you're going to after being in you know like more in contemplation you're going to actually find out you're going to start planning what you want for your future and i feel like i really do feel like you're going to find this place so stop to take time to review and make long-term plans capitalizing upon your past successes it's appropriate to pat yourself on the back for all your accomplishments but you may also need patience for the next phase to play out um that's a yik. like I, I have to say like it's a, a strong it's a strong year for you next year um let's see what the fairies say divination so embrace your powers of divination which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situations with crystal clear clarity. Okay, so, oh, that's so cool. I love that. Maybe you'll start a YouTube channel too. Um, divination, so use your intuition. It's like, extremely important. I feel like that is also true because you're going through this like releasing. Um, and you are really like, I really feel like you're one of those souls that just like learn so much and is, has so much wisdom in them. Um, so connect to that connect to that next year that's important um okay let's see <laughs> i love that you have the turtle um and you got two um two animal messages this um for 2021 and it was supposed to be only one but you got two and that's how we do it um so turtle message so slow and steady wins the race so yeah we're planning that's what we're doing like the end of this i feel like you're going to be planning throughout but i think you're going to have this really strong clarity by the end of the year next year um so then we have this and i was like this too because the turtle kind of has their, their home on their back and i feel like you're starting to understand that um this home that you feel is like you're just going to be so at home with yourself i feel like um and then we have the beaver spirit to so lay a solid foundation again this planning i feel like you as you're ending, as you're moving forward, as you're like transforming and, and like letting go of things, you're kind of now setting the, the, your foundations for what your future is going to be for 2022. Um, I know that's like a ways away, but I feel like that's what you're going to go through. Um, so let's look at what the moon has for us. So the moon has, your commitment is being tested. So I feel like you might have times when you're like feeling a bit impatient but i feel like you will come through because again I, I feel like you have that a lot of strength in you um so and a new start is coming i really feel that the new start is coming i mean it's it's already kind of you're going to have this new start here especially with the death card um but it's an exciting event it's like something that's gonna kind of pump you up uh but i really feel like at the end it's when you're like this like you're ready really really ready to like know what you want i feel like you start off your year you kind of have some sort of clarity but as you progress you're going to get even more clarity in 2021 by the end you're going to know exactly what you want um and you're going to be prepared for it and then we have dog far away so a distant friend is thinking of you so that's something important for you to know um because these are our little t fortune cards and we pulled the one card and that's what it is like so a friend is thinking of you okay let's think of let's look at what the pin for the year is for you so this is exciting oh okay this one's the one <laughs> it's two people the outside oh my god <laughs> I love this one i'm sorry because I, I always do this i feel the same way all the time so i feel like that is a very strong one uh especially with your um hermit card over here so yeah we do have this it's two people outside so 
you're going to be her feeling hermity and that's okay. Um, maybe you're just going to be kind of chilling at home a lot of the time just because that's how you're going to be feeling. Um, but I really feel like you are finding this place of comfort in, in, in that too. Um, maybe there's, it's nothing wrong with being, you know, like not being overly outside. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so we have like here we have this right now. We, there's major change happening for you. Um, there's a whole lot of stuff. So major change happening. There's like something that's going to kind of surprise you. We're going to have like this energy. We're going to have like things from the past that you like emotions that you weren't quite ready to feel. You're just kind of starting to feel them now. Um, I really love all these things because it's like it tells me a whole story. So we also have the sun and clouds. You're I'm not sure you're confused here we have like there's things in you but you're still not confused but we do again have the sun here so it lets us know that yes you're going to have this clarity i feel like this this is actually how i actually see it um like like that it's like you know you're feeling these emotions you're not sure cloudiness but you're starting to see the sun but something's going to shift something big is going to happen and you're going to start to see the sunshine there again so you're on your way to um, actually manifesting the things that you want. You're on your way to doing it. Um, yeah, first step. It's interesting because here in something, in some aspects, you are more than just the first steps. You're actually starting to blossom and, and everything. But there is other factors that you are starting to have your first step. So yeah, I feel like there's a lot of confusion that's going to, like, I'm it's clearing up by the end of the year i think you're gonna have so much clarity oh i love this because actually uh, group one also has a lot of like hugs and kisses so like there's gonna be a lot of affection coming to you lots of like love lots of support i really want to say that we have f and i t and we have the first letter of your name um Oh, and it's supposed to maybe fit. Well, whatever. <laughs> we have Aries, which is, um, uh, we have fire energy, and we have Pisces, which is uh, a lot of water energy. Again, here we, we have, we're trying to, like, release the past moving forward um, as we do. And three is an important number because you have three twice. So three, three, which is interesting because to me it's like, um, that means that there's, like, a lot of energy of also, like, feelings lots of strong feeling energy here so that's a, it's a really cool thing all right let's do the sprinkle of charms okay Ooh. sprinkle of charms oh look at that all right Ooh. okay so let's right off the bat say something like a wish is definitely coming true something with love there's a love um, wish coming through and we also just have a general wish coming through it could be that there is an engagement for you next year um some sort of commitment is important oh i love this you have this the sunflower so there is like a double sign of the sun so yes lots of like there's going to be a lot of sunshine for you you have the key to your own self-love which is going to have the key to to love in general um <laughs> it's uh, i like this because there's going to be a strong message it's going to be like some uh, you're going to get a strong message especially through music but it's like uh more of a fast pace it feels like because it's the electric guitar so it's like a fast pace um you're going to have something that's like really fast pace and yes we have the the horse with the say is like um like oh i forgot pegasus um so we have this so we definitely we're gonna you're gonna fly high and it's gonna be fast there's gonna be like i feel like it's gonna be like fast slow fast so it's gonna be like in a wave for you um there isn't like listen beyond the listening for you because there's going to be like angelic messages coming to you um <laughs> you are on your way to like the the ball you're on your way to this like um sunshine um and it also reminds you to take naps important to rest i feel like over here especially with this emperor energy as you you do it and true also as well as you're like you know during this like uh releasing death like the death um it's time 
to like take time to rest and kind of like center yourself that's really important as well like wow you have a lot of cool stuff <laughs> uh, it's it's again it's going to be an interesting year for you <laughs> uh, i mean like let's do and now we're just going to finish it off with the cards that are just going to finishing messages <laughs> okay let's see what messages you need to hear for the next year we have adventure live wild and free oh i love that so it's an adventure that's coming maybe that's you've been wanting an adventure it's gonna do it and uh, i feel like there's one more message that you need to hear okay and surprises under the most ordinary stone stone is an undisturbed garden so <laughs> There is, like I said, there is going to be surprises here, um, like a lot of surprises here, like a lot of endings which are going to surprise you, but they're all for your benefit. Um, so overall, I think you're doing, you're going to have a great year, group two. Um, there is a lot of new starts coming. You're going to feel like, I love that you're going to find this like peace inside yourself. Um, I feel like that's a, a major kind of feeling that you're going to have. Um, and, and it's okay that you're feeling it's too peopley outside. I feel you're gonna, you know, like you can be outside with others, but also just like, it's okay if you're just want to be, you know, by yourself. It's, that's all right too. But adventure is also waiting and surprises are. And congratulations for those of you who are, you know, getting engaged or having some sort of like commitment there. That is exciting. Maybe even marriage. Congratulations. Uh, all right. I think that is it for you group too. Good stuff. I am. Um, um, if you like this reading, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. I love comments. I love when people subscribe, and I love when people like. So <laughs> I'm always super excited about that. I am sending you so much love, so much light, so much happiness, so much, oh, just clarity and, and like, oh, positive and just a wonderful new year. Um, let 2021 be a super awesome, amazing year for you. And I hope you have a wonderful year. And I, well, I just said that, so. <laughs> Happy New Year. And thanks again. Bye-bye. Hello, group three. Let's find out what's happening with you in 2021. So you chose mending. So there's some sort of like, uh, you might be mending um, friendships, relationships. And so it's like, basically, it's a it's a time for you to kind of like look back on any kind of things that maybe even mending your own memories um so it's, for example like there's mistakes in the past that maybe just you know kind of haunt you <laughs> but i feel like you're going to make amends with yourself and maybe with others as well so mending is an important aspect of 2021 so let's also look at what your month as stars so it's like very much good luck also maybe you might also like um kind of become like a, a bit of celebrity somewhere like some something like where you're in the spotlight shining brightly um it just might be that you're just shining brightly in general <laughs> all right okay let's see what our tarot cards say so for the first um for the first quarter so that's from january all the way to the end of March we have the king of winter so we do have like this is the king of swords so some very truthful like a strong um feeling a very strong energy a very truthful like practical so at this time it's very important that you communicate clearly be objective and un unemotional and act as a professional as possible if you need advice seek out the most experienced experts you can find so yeah that's the kind of energy you have um i feel like but with the whale here also like there's a lot of like knowledge um that you're being called to like that that that's you're gaining a lot of knowledge here in the first quarter um so the second quarter is the magician you're starting to manifest very strong here um yeah because here this is a court card but this is like a major arcana so we have this the magician you're starting to manifest so this is from like april all the way to the end of june we have this manifestation um, coming through. So there is magic in the air. You can manifest everything you need to be successful. So there is this. I feel like this is where the stars are coming in. I feel like here you've kind of been working at something, working 
not only like a, a business but also your life you're just kind of being so focused and then you're going to start to see the payoff here uh, on the second quarter so we have the chariot again yeah a victory a major victory here um and there's also like so yeah as you move forward this is a fast moving energy too so that's from um july all the way to the end of september so there's this fast moving energy that that that's true it also feels like fast moving energy all around um so that's going to be a, a more fast move energy we have this like and there's going to be success again i feel like there's a lot of success for you because it's like you have the stars here um i really feel like this is also a part of like any kind of like things that you again it, it really feels like mistakes that you've kind of been beating yourself up with are coming you're going to see like oh wait no look look at all the lessons that i've learned from the past from that are going to help you manifest the things that you want um and then we have unity <laughs> so interesting so unity is actually the hierophant so we have this like you're learning in your teaching so i feel like wow it's a very strong card so this is going to be a very strong year you're going to be there's going to be a lot of like recognition for all the work that you've put in um that's going to be very strong there so pull ray embrace this time of deep spiritual growth you may feel called upon as to act as a mentor find a new teacher or spend time with others who also are also on the sacred path so yeah so there's like a connection here but it, it it really is like wow it's a strong it's a strong um really positive here okay let's look at what the uh, fairies have to tell us for next year for you so yeah magical gateway it takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown yet this is where the greatest rewards are it's time to take step boldly forward without looking back and i feel like you are doing that i really want to say that it starts here um this like cusp here like in in you start in april to just kind of step forward and just move forward and from there you're just gonna it's gonna pick up um, let's look at what that <laughs> these are our animal um, spirit guides are telling us for 2021 so scarab magic works through you yeah again you see that there is a lot of magic here the magician here is also like this magic is just surrounding you next year stars uh, again it's like stars are aligning for you um, and you also have chameleon spirit so act as if so act as if you, you know, whatever it is that you have, it, whatever it is that you want, you have it. So act like that. Um, so I think that that's, that's also going to lead you to have that victory for you. All right, let's look at what the moon cards have for us. We have communication is key, especially with this mending. So any kind of feel like you, you have any connection with somebody that you needed to, um, you know meant something with communication is key there and it's so because we have this king of winters here so especially communication especially in the beginning um so it's like this is like a, a clear like how you communicate is like very clear and precise and what you want um to establish is like this is what you want you don't you know like you're not rude or anything but you're very specific and very like sharp is what i want to say and so we also have what do you need to release <laughs> and i think that's part of your mending as well so i feel like you as your call this year 2021 is going to be a uh, releasing of the past mistakes mending um relationships that like you know like maybe ha like kind of fell off because of of past Mm, experiences which you know like again mistakes but I, I don't really want to say I say mistakes because that's the best word I can come up with but it's more like they were not really mistakes they were actually learning lessons for you um, but I feel like you beat yourself up about them a lot and I feel like it's asking you to start releasing that and I think you will <laughs> because I, I, I just by all these cards you are doing that and then you have this so this is <laughs> your little fortune card and that's you're a goal oriented person and, and that is totally because of this king of winter that we have here that queen of swords that is so true about you <laughs> um so let's look at what our pin is okay oh this is an interesting one 
Okay, so we have a bubba tea with a little with a little face. Um, I feel like I really want to say like um, take time to enjoy things, and I also feel like calling on friends like really mend relationship with some friends that you've lost track of. Um, I feel like in that, and also take time to enjoy yourself because you really are really like a motivated goal-oriented person you also need to relax and, and take it easy as well you know take take breaks in between um let's look at what they said all right so yeah so something is coming to you fruition you're gonna start seeing it like I, I, I really do feel like there's a lot of manifestation for you this year um we have emotions we're le releasing emotions from the past um, these frozen ones and we are also just releasing a lot of emotions just like letting it go there is a little confusion here um, so I feel like that but I feel like a wind of change is gonna come and like wipe it all away um, we also have a Q S H we want to say like from the ashes you rise again and Z we have the number one is important we have the seven um, we also have a full moon. So yeah, we're like, we're manifesting. We're in the state of, of manifesting. And now we're moving forward. Oh, I love that you have the star here because it means that there is some sort of wish fulfillment here. And you do have stars, a lot of it. So celebrate the small steps. I feel like you're doing very well. Um, we have Virgo, Earth energy, and Pisces, water energy here. And three is important as well. So 17 and three and one and seven is really good. So lots of cool stuff. Let's look at what the, what our um, sprinkle of charms are going to tell us. Do, do, do. But I'm just going to put that button because I didn't even notice I had a button here. But <laughs> I really just kind of, it, it says that you know, like mend is important. So here we go. We have all those things and we also have a button because that's one of your charms. Um... I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. Um, oh, I feel like, sorry, I'm shaking. I feel like, hmm, that's pot. I feel like that's somebody from, somebody who, who, well, well, you have like past relationships that are strong, have love, but I also feel like it's somebody who has passed on that really wants you to know that they really, really love you. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that is also because I, the cat here with the butterfly and always thinks like of like somebody who's caring watching over you um and we do have this the wing as well like a lot of angelic energy here as well music is important for you um always listen to the lyrics i i, I there's just some lyrics that just catch you and you just kind of keep singing them there's a message for you there and again but in, i feel like you're mending relationships you're I really want to say that. I want to say that you are mending relationships. I feel like it's time to like, I feel like close off something. It's it's like you're you're closing, you're going to button it up, it's going to be closed. Um, I feel like there's things that are just like kind of draining your energy. Um, and now you're just going to close it off. Misses, so it could be somebody, um, it could be a, a, a some kind of old, older lady that you have that, or you could be getting married, um, and you might be becoming a missus, so that's really cool too. Um, but I feel like, yeah, so there's this, I want to say for some of you, not for all of you, it's like a, a like, I don't want to say it's your mom because <laughs> you wouldn't call him missus, but I feel like some sort of like, some sort of mentor really is connecting with you, um, letting you know that they really like, they care about you a lot and that they are, are there to support you. So not for everybody, but for some of you, and, and I feel like there's some sort of like a mentor teacher, um, strong, like a strong teacher energy here. Um, also here we have the key of like self-love here is important. We have no matter where, again, there's this a, 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 like a long, like strong love up there. It's like, okay, you have this feeling of I like, can, you have this busy bee you're like a, a very productive individual um i wish i was like that <laughs> and give the girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world men and men row mentor i don't know but um so always dress like 
is this that has to do with the chameleon so act as if so if you want to act um, if you want, you know, more abundance, act as if you have it, like dress like you have it, um, think like you have it, you know what I mean? Um, and then you have you versus you. I really feel like, yes, it's like you, you now in the past, you kind of like are battling yourself. <laughs> um, but know that no matter what, you should kind of forgive yourself the past because that is shaping you who shaped who you are now. Um, again, slow and steady, but you're you're moving forward. I also feel like there's a lot of like um, kind of want to say a release of some kind of like a, like a detox of some kind. Um, but very strong here. Past somebody who has passed on really wants you to know that you like you're very important to them and they're watching over you. That's that's a thing that's there. Um, okay, and let's do what the last. Let's do these cards. Okay, let's do what the, these are not, okay, let's go ahead and see what the message is. We have reconnect, patience, and there was one more, and surprises, <laughs> apparently surprises, there was a lot of surprises, um, I actually want to say two, <laughs> sorry, this one kind of called out to me as well. So surprise, okay, so reconnect. So secrets lurk in captive shadows deep in the woods. So reconnect, I really do feel like there's somebody from your past that um, you do need to recommend and mend this um, relationship because it feels like that's important. So patience, everything can be accomplished at, at nature's pace. So that's the patience here. I feel like a bit of a, the winter king is a little bit not as... <laughs> Patience or surprises under the most ordinary stone is an undisturbed garden. So yes, there's surprises coming your way and clearing. Make room for growth. And that's the mending. Um, so this is really interesting. So overall, you're going to have, like, I, I have to say, you're going to have a fantastic year. <laughs> 2021 is going to be, there's going to be a lot of change for you. Apparently, it's going to be a lot of change for everybody. Um, the big transformation happening. Um, but it's like, for leveling up purposes, I guess, as I would call it. Um, but your shining, your stars are shining this year, um, 2021. That's big things are happening. I would really make peace with your past. I really want to say that. That's important. And reconnect with somebody because somebody's calling you to them right now. Um, so it might be somebody like an ex, like flame. But I really feel like it's a. Uh, older person that you was a teacher like some sort of like a mentor to you um know that there's magic in you right now and well magic in you always um so just follow through on that patience surprise yeah and i think that is it for you group three I, lots of good things for you <laughs> um if you like this reading please consider liking and subscribing um and commenting i love reading comments i love seeing people subscribe and I love when people like my videos um just it makes me so happy it makes me feel blessed and humbled um ah I'm sending you so much love so much light <sighs> so much growth and so much I just I feel like you're gonna shine so brightly you're gonna be so so unbelievably like really see you like shining your light onto others like really guiding others as well like using what you've learned from the past to move forward and, and grow even more and shine even brighter. Um, mend whatever, mend, make peace with your past. Uh, and I'm sending you that too. Um, oh, I, th I think that is it. A happy new year, group three. Have a super wonderful day. Bye-bye.